You use a defibrillator if somebody is unconscious and not breathing. So you've checked for danger, you've checked for response, you've opened the airway, you've checked for breathing, and they're not breathing normally. And they have less than two breaths in a 10 second period. So you will then start CPR, okay, and get an ambulance on the way as quickly as possible and ideally grab your defibrillator too. To use your defibrillator, you would turn it on um, and then you remove the pads and put them as shown on the pads. So you put one on this side of the chest, one on this side of, um, of the, the person. Um, if uh, they are very hairy or their chest is wet, you would dry the, the chest and you maybe take a little bit of the fluff off with a, a razor. You want maximum adhesion of the pads. Um, the defibrillator will talk to you um, and you can only use it if they need it. So you can only use it if they're in a shockable rhythm, so you cannot do any harm. You want to keep doing CPR and you follow the prompts on the machine. So it will say analysing heart rhythm. Analysing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. You follow those prompts. It will tell you if they're in a shockable rhythm and shock if the shock is advised. Charging. And it will tell you Stay what to do. Stay clear of the patient. Okay. Deliver shock now. So Press you the just orange button. Stay now. clear. Shock follow delivered. those prompts and be Four. ready to do CPR. Start CPR. It's really important that you are giving CPR and that you're following the prompts. Leave the pads in place, keep doing quality CPR, 30 compressions to two breaths, and keep going until the emergency services arrive. If there's a second person, you can swap over every two minutes.